She won't be on the red carpet tonight, but Pat Seftel is a bona fide star all the same. Time to catch up with Josh's mom. Am I supposed to be using my iPad? Yeah. I'm on my phone. Oh. I've got my iPad right here, but I don't know how to hook into you. Hello. How have you liked doing these conversations? Oh, I love it. First of all, I get to spend time with you. And second of all, it's kind of fun to see myself on TV. Josh Seftel and his mom are Josh back. Seftel Josh and his Seftel mom. Seftel and, his mom. of course, his mother. Hello. Do you feel like you're starting to get famous? I don't know how else you'd call me famous. <laughs> but one day, I was in Publix food store in the vegetable department, and I was looking at lettuce. And this man said to me, are you the mom? And I said, yes. And he said, oh my God, he got so excited. Hello. How many people recognize you in public? An awful lot. Really? Anytime I go to a restaurant or a concert, people, they'll come running up from behind, from the side. Do you think this is changing your life? Yeah, it put some excitement into my life. My friend said to me the other night, I think those people recognize you. They keep staring at you. And I said, nah, I doubt it. And as I was walking by, the woman grabbed my hand and she said, you are the mom, aren't you? We had a bet. And I said, I am. How many times a week would you say you get recognized? Maybe eight, nine times. Really? Yeah. What do people say to you? You're the mom. Oh my God. They want to take my picture. They get all so excited. Then I get excited. I think they think I'm some kind of a celebrity and I'm not. I'm just a mother. I mean, you know, if it was Taylor Swift, I'd understand. When you go out now, do you think twice about what you're gonna wear and your hair and everything? I have to be careful how I look. Like sometimes if I go to Publix, I normally wouldn't bother putting on lipstick, but now I do. I see a lot of people in Publix. They seem to recognize me there a lot. What do your friends say? They're getting used to it. They sort of stand there and say, yep, she's the mom. I said my son made me a little star. <laughs> Have you gotten any fan mail? Yes. Like what? Letters. And one woman draws pictures of me. Oh, right. Didn't someone send you mahjong pieces too? Yes. Didn't someone send you chicken soup? A retired dentist told me that he thought that it would make me get better faster. Why do you think this is happening? Why do people care? Because I think I might remind them of their parent conversations maybe they had with their mom, or maybe their mom's gone now, and they can kind of identify with me. Did you ever expect that this would happen at your age? Are you kidding? No, never. But it's all your fault. <laughs> you did it to me. <laughs> what do you want to say to your fans? I want to say thank you for watching. I love talking to you when you recognize me. I really do. It makes my day. What advice do you have for your fans? To stay healthy. Try to enjoy yourself as much as you can each day. Be active. Watch CBS Sunday morning.